So food chaining is based on part of a sensory and behavioral based approach to feeding. It reduces the risk of food refusal because it is based on the child's preferences. Food chaining is based on the relationship between the foods and liquids with regard to taste, texture, and temperature. So when we're food chaining, we are always analyzing the child's response and tailoring the foods that are presented based on this relationship. Utilize a three-day food log with families. The three-day food log can give you all kinds of information. It can tell the speech pathologist um, and the dietitian what types of foods are being offered. It can give you indications as to how much volume of food is being consumed. It can also tell you the timing of meals and snacks. Um, and give you a lot of information about the, um, f the foods that are being accepted and how a daily routine goes for that child. So who are you treating? Do you know who the child is? The medically fragile infant, the preemie baby. Are you treating a child with dysphagia? Is that your primary issue? Are you treating a child who has poor weight gain or failure to thrive and the child's just too weak and undernourished to feed well? Or do you have a child with a neurological problem? This is when we need to determine what is the primary issue and who am I actually taking care of? Look at the picture on the right. This is the larynx, a view of a child with reflux laryngitis. And this child has had significant acid just bathing the structures, creating redness, swelling, inflammation. You may see a child grimace when they swallow or swallow with effort. It looks like they're pushing something down. Um, they may snore, they may be hoarse many things, clearing the throat, lots of secretions. This can be seen in child with reflux laryngitis. On the left side, you see a normal pink and healthy and smooth tissue structure. Very markedly different what these kids are going to experience. Do you understand the basics of digestive tract disorders? If you have a preemie, do you know what necrotizing enteral colitis is? Do you know what remaining colon the child has? Do you understand milk protein allergy and what that means? What formula changes are needed? What signs to look for? Red rash and eczema, constipation, pain symptoms, these things in infancy can all point to a problem with milk protein. This is when you need your dietitian and your PEDS GI to start your treatment program.